Okay, let's look at the homework. It is P197. Arnie keeps his pet snake in an open top glass cage, so there's no top. The outside of the cage is 73 by 60 by 38. The glass used to make the cage is 0 0.5 or half a centimeter thick. What is the, the inside volume of the cage? So for the um, sides, we need to take one centimeter off because both sides will have half a centimeter, half and half it gives you a one hole. So we need to do 72, and then volume is area equals length times width times height. So 72 times, and then we need to take another one off of the 60, 59, and then times, and we only need to take a half off of the height because remember there's no top to it, so 37.5. Work that out and you'll have your answer. Number three, a gift box measures 14 inches by 12 inches by 6 inches. How much wrapping paper is needed to exactly cover the box? Okay, so we need to find surface area, the whole surface area. Okay, so you need to multiply the 14 by the 12 and the 14 by the 6. Then you need to multiply the 12 by the 6 and then add those all up so 14 times 12 get that answer 14 times 6 get that answer oh and multiply by 2 I almost forgot so 14 by 12 and then there's a front and a back so then multiply by 2 then 14 by 6 get that answer and then multiply that by 2 because there's a right and a left and then 12 by 6 get that answer and multiply it by 2 because there's a top and a bottom then add these three answers up and that will be your final answer again you can pause you can rewind uh, if you need to okay a display num a display number cube measures 20 on each side the sides are numbered 1 through 6 the odd numbered sides are covered in blue fab fabric the even number sides are covered in red fabric how much red fabric was used okay so there is going to be it's going to be half and half because you're going to have two four and six so there's going to be three sides so you need to do 20 by 20, and that gives you one side, and then by three to get the three sides. Okay, number five, the caps on the tops of staircase posts are shaped like square pyramids. So I know it's gonna have a square base and then triangles coming off of each side. The side length of the base of each cap is four inches. So it sounds like this line is four. The height of the face of each cap is five inches. So it sounds like that's five. What is the surface area of the caps for two posts? The caps on the tops of staircase posts. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to find, what is the surface area for the caps of two posts? Caps on the tops of the staircase posts are shaped like square pyramids. Okay, I see. So, at the end of the staircase, they have posts that look like this. But there's two of them. What is the surface area of the caps? So, I'm wondering if they include the bottom or not. Well, let's, uh, let's check it out and find out. Okay, so we need a formula for a triangle because the sides are all triangles. One half times the base, which is four, times the height, which is five. So this would be 20, and a half of that is 10. So that would be 40.
and then um, that would be four forties. So four times 40, 160. And then if we include the base, that will be four times four, which is 16. We're not sure if we're gonna include the base yet though. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, it looks like, hmm, let me see. 20, half of that is 10. So this is 10, 10, 10, 10. That would be 40. The other one is 40, that would be 80. Oh yeah, I, why did I multiply it by four of those? not the right thing to do. So 10, 10, 10, 10, 40 for the one post, and then there's two posts, so another 40. And then, yeah, it looks like they are including the bottom. 16 and 16, which would be 32. So 112, yeah, that's what they did. They did include the bottom, okay. So, uh, 40 for the area of the four triangles. There's two posts, so another 40. And then the bottom is four by four, which is 16, and there's two posts, so another 16. Add that all up, and we get 112 inches squared. Okay, again, I'm gonna erase. You never need to just uh, get more scratch paper if you need more. Okay, so number six, a water irrigation tank is shaped like a cube, so I know all the sides are gonna be the same, and they're all two and a half. How many cubic feet of water are needed to fill the tank? Fill the tank, you need the formula for volume, length times width times height, and all of those variables, L, W, and H, are all gonna be two and a half or 2.5. So plug in those variables and then solve, see what that equals. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.